Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm just doing a quick video on the signings I picked up at, at Horicom. So me and my uh, partner in crime, my horror bud, my Judy to my Richard, shall we say, uh, Randy Mole. We ventured off to Sheffield to the 2019 Horicom uh, to meet a number of guests and get signatures and all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do is do a quick video showing you all the things I got signed. So, uh, first off then, was one of the main pulls for both Randy Moore and myself, and that is Duncan Regeer. Regeer? Something that I always get his surname wrong. So anyway, Regeer I think it is. So, Duncan, he plays Dracula in the Monster Squad. And like I said, he was one of the main pulls for us when he got announced because it's something like this film the monster squad is such a 80s gem it's such a classic but it has really no in my view no real uk shall we say establishment it doesn't have a blu-ray release i think it's got a dvd release but it doesn't have a blu-ray release over here it's kind of just fallen under the radar but for us, it was one of the main reasons. I did feel sorry for Duncan as well. Both me and Randy Moore were saying his line was really quiet. Now, he was right on the end, which I'm not sure if he was maybe in the middle, he would have got more trade, but it's such a shame. I know he's done other stuff like he played Zorro, had a, I think he maybe, on his stall, he had a still from Star Trek. I don't know if he was in multiple seasons, episodes, or if he was just a one off. So I'm not sure of his filmography, but to me and Randy Moore, he is Dracula and a fucking scary Dracula. A real tall bloke as well. So anyway, you can see here I took my everything I got signed that were Blu-rays. I didn't get any stills or posters because I've got no bloody room on my wall. So and it's something I really like to get, and that's my <coughs> movie sign. So we went and saw Richard, had a good chat with him. Uh, tall bloody bloke, he was really tall, and you could just imagine if he was a kid on the set and he was dressed and he was in his full Dracula outfit, it'd be quite intimidating, the bloke. So anyway, to James Duncan Regeer, and you can say he signed it right next to it. So I think it really looks good in the silver. And yeah, another cool... Uh, I don't know why I'm showing you back. I'm not doing a Blu-ray update. It's kind of habit. But anyway, that's what you want to see. Well, that's what I want to show anyway. Very simple. Uh, Randy Mole. He won't do a video because he doesn't do this sort of shit. He just likes talking shit with, with me about movies. But he got a Monster Squad Mondo print. And he got, give me that amulet, you bitch. And I actually put it down. And it looks spot on. Maybe I could put a pic, uh, photo in at the end or do some hokey pokery and put it in. But anyway, that's what I got. So that's that Blu-ray. I'm conscious I'm blabbering on now. Next up, I met Ed Neal, who plays the Hitcher. So this was Ed's first, he was telling me, well, his wife was telling me, uh, his first UK kind of a convention appearance and he was all out he had shit those is <coughs> excuse me i'm getting a cold uh stills you could pick loads of already signed posters you could pick on his stall uh, uh, so he had he, he was organized the bloke he had everything uh from the conversation I had with him very brief it was quite strange he, he said love the artwork he said it was a uh, an Italian poster, that was the Italian poster for Texas. I'm not sure this is a... I wanted to buy a Blu-ray uh, to get signed, because I do have this second sight release, but that's signed by Toby Hooper, and I didn't want to spoil that and taint it. So I went for... This is a German import, and I'll put in my next Blu-ray update. So we signed that. Hey, James, Ed Neal, Hitcher. Uh, Hitchhiker. Uh, real cool bloke, but as I was com talking to him, he just kind of... Fucked off halfway through the conversation, and then his wife was chatting to me ages. He, he got pulled on something else, so it was a bit of a like we didn't finish our conversation. So I was a bit annoyed with that, but uh, yeah, there we go. It's one of the things in it, eh? So that's cool. Next up, oh, oh, if I don't drop it, it's real nice lady I met, Scout Com uh, Taylor Compton. I always get her name all up. Let me, there we go, Scout Taylor Compton. Real, really nice lass. Her queue was dead. I was. She started to put a coat on. And I was walked up, and she was like, "No, come on over." Wave me over. Said no. She was just going out for fresh air, or is that American slang for a fag, um, or some vaping? Uh, but anyway, yeah, she was very welcoming. Was talking very positive about the convention and the movies and how she, you know, such a great honor to have played Laurie Strode and was just. 
really complimentary of Rob Zombie and his work and his directing methods. So there we go. This is one of the Blu-rays. I think this is an Italian version I imported. You can see that. Got a name, Laurie Strode. Yes, yeah, so real nice lass. Uh, yeah, I, she was really, really friendly. So there's that one. Next up, I was only an hour in what to get Jennifer Rubin to sign. Uh, she's mainly, I suppose, Freddy Part 3 fame. But I went for Bad Dreams. And this is a film I've only recently just discovered. I had it in my collection for a while, the 88 Slashers Classic. And I put it on uh, wanting to watch it before I went to meet her. Just to, so I can check more of her filmography. And it really, really actually uh, pleasantly surprised. I think this is a real good... When was it? 88? Yep, 88. I think this is certainly a late 80s slasher horror gem. Uh, so she's put here to James. He's alive. It's him. It's him. Yeah, Cynthia, that's her character's name. She was really nice. Me and Randy Moore was talking to her a while, but both me and him got really freaked out. Well, not freaked out. She was proper spaced out. She started talking about, because she said this is actually her on the cover, but there's other artwork where it's someone else. And then she kind of told us about how she's got this friend who's a memorabilia collector and had a massive warehouse full of memorabilia. But he's a friend, but she won't hang around with her anymore because of what he did, which sent him to prison. So I'm just like, what are you talking about? And then she started talking about a hairdresser's appointment she went to. Or oh, she sent someone to him. Me and the animal were just like... What is happening right now? We need to get out of this queue. So, real nice woman was talking about the film. Well, she was still very insightful of this film, but she's kind of making it at some point no blooming sense. So, anyway, Jennifer Rubin there. Right, next up is Sean Pertry, Dog Soldiers. He actually really liked this uh, media, but this is a German import. Uh, so, he's put James Sausages, Sean Pertry, Sergeant Wells. Randy Mole got this. He also got this signed. Uh, forget what he had on the front of his. I'll count. That was it. I'll count. And that was a funny story, which I'm not going to go into because I'll be here all day. But anyway, so yeah, really like that. He actually really liked this uh, edition. He said quite a few people have brought this yesterday to Horrorcom. Uh, so yeah, he's kind of like graffitied all over the front of it, but I don't mind. But there we go. There's Dog Soldiers. Talking to him for quite a while. There's a woman in front of us who... Uh, I think it was starting to annoy him because she was dressed up as a wolf and uh, anyway, was having a bit of a crack and a laugh with the bloke. Next up is one of one of the other big pulls of the convention and that's Corey Feldman or Michael Jackson or wherever he's best known. Jesus Christ, did he look like Michael Jackson on on Sunday. So we went Sunday, me and the mall. We didn't go Saturday. Apparently Saturday was an absolute clusterfuck, mega, mega busy. People waiting two and a half, three hours. Corey didn't turn up till 12, so me and Randy Mole getting like the 10 a.m. early entry ticket. You go in, you quickly was in the first 20 tickets to see Corey, and then he didn't turn up for two hours. So I think it's a really poor show, really poor show. And how much he was charging, he was charging like 35 quid, but the horror fan man, Grant, shout out to you, dude. Lovely to meet you. Quick shout out. I'm going to do quick shout outs here. So, horror fan man, Grant, met him. I seem to bump into him every year I go. Fantastic guy, fantastic channel, love your stuff. Was chatting to him for a while, <coughs> Freddy Four, uh, in in joke there. But it's like I think they charged him seventy five quid, bless him, for a autograph and a and a selfie, a fucking selfie. He was charging money, a good amount of money for. That's another thing. Charging selfies is just to me, pisses me off. But anyway, another shout out is Tony at Horror and Todd. Met him, bumped into him, said hello. Real cool guy. His first convention, he was just. Lapping it all in, bless him. Got a load of Blu-rays. If I remember how to do it, I'll try and link his channel below. Met Grumpy Andrew, which you probably see on Madness video. Do you know what? He's an absolute legend, Andy. Uh, love spending time with him there. And just, if we lived closer, mate, we'd be going for pubs a lot. And watching films together a lot, I'm sure we would. And finally, Stevie Monkey Mason, or Lonely Tree Entertainment, or whatever you're going by now. It's Lonely Tree Entertainment, I'm winding up, pal. Lovely to meet you again. I bumped into you again last year. Looking forward to your crazy video. I'm sure will be coming out shortly. So anyway, back to this shit in front of me. So Corey Feldman, he was only doing personalised. So many could choose from, the Gremlins, Lost Boys, but I had to go through for the all-time classic Goonies. Uh, so it's to James, peace. And he did always doing these like peace symbols. Uh, so yeah, he was cool. Didn't really say, when I say didn't really say much, he was just like spaced out chill do but it was like a, even for me it was kind of like a bit like 
my god, this is like an A list just sat in front of me. This is kind of like this is Corey fucking Feldman. This is Melf, you know. So it was a bit of a yeah, a bit took my breath away if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm I'm so happy that we actually got to meet him because of all these stories I heard about Saturday and how manic it was and people didn't get to see him. But towards the end of the day, he was his queue was quiet. So pays to go on the Sunday. Right, next up, I double dipped with the man, the legend, that is Dario Gento. So first off, this is kind of a late decision of what to take. I was going to take the Arrow box set of Phenomena, but I thought, you know what, I do like signed steelbooks, they look really good. And now Gento, first guy there, first guy there signing, absolute professional there. Okay, didn't speak much English, uh, and I don't speak much Italian, so the conversation wasn't that riveting. But anyway, he... Uh, he was efficient. He was boom, boom, boom. He had helpers. You know, he got up there. What did you want? Do you want your name or no? Boom. And he was right out. He chose white. And I was a bit worried when he picked up this right white kind of art pen. Not a uh, Sharpie. But actually, it looks fantastic. I must admit, I really am really happy with this. And it's Argento, you know. Why not take advantage? When do you think you'll next come over to the UK? And things like that. So, yeah. I'm so happy I went with this and where he placed it. I just think it works really well, that signature. And last, just to finish it off and not to bore you too much longer, I got my Suspiria Media book signed. This is a German import I bought last year for when he was coming last year, but then obviously, unfortunately, he couldn't make it. Uh, so I thought, definitely going to get it. And again, in the white, I just think it. they just look fantastic. And that's just... My personal view. So another another Horrorcon done. I think that's the fourth one I've done now. So again, great convention if you've not been before. It's a great day out. I didn't really buy, and I didn't buy anything from the stalls. I went to Arrow because they did five for 30. I got everything they had. So I really missed out there. Looks like they sold all the stock Saturday. And then a lot of the other stalls, like Mad About Horror, they had lots of things, but I just ran out of money. With these sort of things, you've got to give yourself a budget. It's good that they don't have cash machines, otherwise you can go a bit crazy so there we go just a quick overview <coughs> of what i got signed again thank you to grumpy andrew horror and Todd, tony uh grant at horror fan man and stephen at lonely tree entertainment it was cool to meet you talk to you guys again it's like it just adds to a fantastic day out meeting celebrities talking to like-minded horror folk and spending the day with Randy Mole. Uh, so there we go. Uh, that's it. I'm going to shut up and go and have a pint. See you later. Peace.